few people know this, but Eric is a gather us in guy. <laughs> hey, baby. Eric, That's you know this. This. <laughs> he, he put up his praise hands. So. And usually I go to the chorus, but I will. Eric and I did a, a show a few months back, or maybe last year, where we discussed the heyday of like the John Paul II era. And we, we got into, you know, just some of those guilty pleasures of, okay, I kind of like that one. It's like, <laughs> I, I know they're, you know, they're pretty cheesy songs, but we usually do start off our show with uh, a cheesy, nostalgic Novus Ordo jam for those of us who have been doing Catholicism since those days. So be uh, not afraid is my favorite, by the way, which one is be not afraid. Oh man, no. I thought Gather Us In was your jam. I would Gather Us In was up one there. Bread, Be Not Afraid was it, baby. <laughs> so, okay, we got a huge show tonight. I'm like beyond excited. I have Tim Flanders and future Tim Flanders on because Eric and Tim look like they're each other 20 years apart. I don't know if you guys know that, but <laughs> Tim, if you want to know what you look like in 20 years, Eric is it. So, um, we have a really, really fun show tonight. These guys have never played with us before, but I know these guys all get they up probably early never will again. <laughs> no, they're gonna have fun tonight. <laughs> they're gonna have fun. Um, we're gonna try and keep it quick. We're not gonna do our usual 15-minute intro banter. We're gonna explain the rules right away. Um, also, we're gonna uh, I do wanna put out there for anybody that isn't a member of the Meaning of Catholic Guild. If you guys aren't, please, please sign up. Like, you guys have no idea. Being a patron of the Meaning of Catholic is such a, a cool thing. You have We have a, um, a Telegram channel that we all help each other out. We all talk to each other. It's a really awesome community. So if you guys can, check it out and join the Patreon and become a guild member. I figured I'd push that out there for Tim because... Thanks, thanks. I'll send your check later. <laughs> <laughs> I am a I am a patron of Meaning of Catholic and have been for a very long time. So, um, okay, so guys, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna explain the rules real quick. You guys are gonna switch over to private chat. So you see up on the on the right hand side, you'll see comments, and then it says private chat. You guys are all gonna switch over to private chat, and you're gonna use the private chat as a buzzer system. So you're gonna put your initial in. And when I ask a question, you guys are just going to punch in your initial. So you'll see I got an A up there. So when I ask the question, whoever gets their name in first, their initial in first, they, be not afraid. <laughs> so whoever gets their name in first, they get to answer the question. Now, if I ask a question, you get your name in and you get the question wrong, you lose a point. Whoever got their name in behind you has an opportunity to steal that point from you. You guys do anything but we will give a uh, prize to somebody in the chat tonight. So before we even start, though, we're going to ask a question that we every episode we have an argument over the trivia game answers. So one week we had the question, when was the birth of the church? And the trivia game gave an answer that I disagreed with. And about half the people agreed with me and the other half of the people agreed with the trivia game. So I'm going to say... Uh, I want to ask Eric and and uh, Tim what what would you say the birth of the church would be? I mean, I think everybody. I've always heard it was Pentecost, and I know that some people have said something else, but I always say Pentecost. That is the tr the answer the trivia game gave. Tim, would you say that's correct? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I would have to say the birth of the church. In what sense do you mean of that? So this was the <laughs> argument when we, I was always taught the fathers taught when Linus's lance hits Christ's side, the birth of the church, just like from the side of Adam comes Eve, the bride of Christ comes forth from the side of Christ yeah. when the lance hits his side. I mean, I was just reading in, in this journal how St. Joseph is the protector of Holy Church because he was the protector of the body of Christ. So that implies that the church was also under St. Joseph because the church was also the body is the body of Christ. Church is the body of Christ. It didn't become the body of Christ at Pentecost. But I mean, I, I've always heard Pentecost as the birth of the church. I, I think the distinction the is like Pentecost is, is when the apostles are specifically given the mission, right? So Peter has already been given the keys earlier in the gospel, but then Pentecost is when they're explicitly sent out under Peter's leadership. 
So if you're talking church in the general sense of body of Christ, you can kind of split hairs. But if you're talking like hierarchical church run by bishops, I think Pentecost is probably and the also universal the Holy answer. Spirit is kind of considered the soul of the church, and that the Holy Spirit was given to the apostles. And like Jake was saying about, of course, the hierarchical structure, but since the soul, you know, soul kind of comes into the body, so to speak, in a, in a mystical sense at Pentecost. So that's okay. So I was wrong. Mark was right. <laughs> I'm gonna hate to concede that one to him. Um, okay, so you guys also don't know Robbie. Robbie just popped in. Robbie Brown is our uh eighth contestant or seventh contestant, right? <laughs> Robbie, this hey, is Brady. Uh, <laughs> this is too many people for me to introduce you to these new guys. Oh, now it's all good. Yeah, no, right next to you, got Eric Sammons. Hey. Next to him, hey, I think we met Jake last time he hey, was on. No, no, Eric Sammons. I'm sure you, I'm sure you, you know these guys anyway, so. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to get to the first question. I'm going to ask it. and no, So if you get your answer in first, we wait for the chat to answer. When I see a correct answer in the chat, then I'll ask you to give your answer. So don't blurt your answer out, even if you're first in. So question number one, in John's gospel, whom did Jesus raise from the dead? Pretty simple question. If you know it, throw your Oh, I forgot to hit enter. And you guys are fast. I'm going to tell you right yeah, now, Darren fun. is lightning fast. Golly. <laughs> well, I'm, a big, fast. I'm a big dummy. I hit E and then I just kind of sit there like, well, why didn't it show up? Like, <laughs> <I hit laughs> Listen, the, the questions start easy. They Can I get one of my kids difficult. to come in and do the computer for me? <laughs> <laughs> so, just right. so you know, there were two people faster than Darren. Yeah. I'm, I want to hear that because Darren <laughs> usually hits the button <laughs> mid-question. J- yeah, Jason was pretty fast. Him. Oh, well, sometimes I hit the button hoping I know the answer before he finishes it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Mark every week we get um, mm-hmm. uh, our friend Mac picks a different celebrity to hijack their name. So <laughs> Mac Pasovic is in. <laughs> and he gave a silly answer. That's obviously incorrect. Okay, so I do have correct answers in the chat. Which one of you guys got it? Jason. That's me. Uh, Lazarus. Lazarus. I'll accept Lazarus. Lazarus. Are we? Lazarus. Lazarus. Sorry. Can we go to the Texas? Can we go to the judges? On that I mess up words all the time. I mean, Jason, does Jason it really matter? Says funny, funny words sometimes. We will forgive his accent. I'm going to accept Lazarus. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Moving on. Question two. I'm going to try to keep it quick because I know everybody. We're going to keep it at an hour tonight, which is unheard of for us. We usually go two hours. So, question number two. The 10, and this is a previous. This has been a previous question before, but none of you guys were guests. <laughs> the Ten Commandments are recorded in which two books of the Bible? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to hit that, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so integrated Angela. Angela Erickson is usually on with us, but we didn't have room tonight, so I couldn't ask her I mean, to come on with us. You're such a sexist. It would have been... Too much <laughs> testosterone for that poor woman to t- tolerate. So, <laughs> um, all right, I got I got correct answers. Which one of you guys got in? Darren. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with Exodus and Deuteronomy. That is correct. Rob, you keeping track of the uh, chat? Yeah, no one in the chat, or only one person in the chat got it. Only one person. Wow. No, I see Margo got it. So, at oh, I see wrong we... answers. That's why. At what point can we bow out early because we don't have enough points and have it not be embarrassing? Yeah, it's really, it doesn't you mean, mean anything. Just, like a, so. just, just pretend to get a phone call speed from Cameron. games. Anthony, Anthony arbitrarily track. picks the oh, winner what? every week. A- so Episode episode three is on fire. Sorry, guys. I got to go. <laughs> tell you, I think, Darren's, I think Darren's beating everybody. So <laughs> Might just be a computer connection thing, too. I have a lot of family members in the chat tonight. I have my brother Joey's here. Look at this. My cousin Ariana and her husband Eddie are here. This is going to be a fun night. All right. It's so, crazy that you can pick them out when you have 100,000 people viewing the live stream. Yeah. It's funny that I have 100,000 family members. So it's amazing <laughs> that I found them amongst them. So, Angela, right. Angela Erickson, I will vouch for you. You've got the best Catholic podcast out there. Sam and yeah. Flanders and Anthony, notwithstanding. <laughs> we love it. We love Angela. She is. Uh, she she keeps us all grounded when she's on with us. I want to say. Okay. I want to say Angela was my first. Uh, the first podcast I ever went on. She's amazing. She's a great broadcaster. 
Yeah. She, uh, she's like a real broadcaster. I feel like inferior when she's on with us. Um, <laughs> okay, here we go. In what city did Jesus perform his first miracle? Another easy one. I'm expecting everybody to get. Ah, oh, Tim, you beat me. Huh. So Enoch, my cousin Eddie and Ariana, who are in the chat tonight, just moved to Kentucky, and they go to the same parish as Enoch, who also lives in Kentucky. Oh, look, my, my brother Frankie's in the chat, too. And Amanda. <laughs> I got a lot of family tonight. Thank you, family, for uh, supporting Do, me. I appreciate this, it. It's just a mafia episode They've abandoned in the chat. you for the last uh, <laughs> are they all Are they all in? patrons of Meaning of Catholic? They will be after this episode, I promise. <laughs> Hopefully, if I if I if I can be quick to the draw, and I can uh, <laughs> myself uh, patronizing a bull or whatever. Yeah. All right, who got him first? Uh, Tim. Flynn. Tim. Oh, I I did. I, is there nice. A cat? Okay, so what was uh? Where was the first miracle? What is the Cana weekend? Right. It is. The wedding yeah. at Cana, correct. What's the name of the marriage prep thing? Cana weekend, yeah. right? <laughs> I, it's Cana something. I forgot. Pre Cana. Pre Cana. That's it. Pre Cana is marriage prep. Yeah. One of the most terrible programs the church has. Before, before the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question four. In John's gospel, what word does John use when describing Jesus's miracles? He does not say miracles. It's a little more difficult. He does not say miracles. He calls them something else. What are they? Now, this is something that you really got to do a little bit of studying John's gospel to know. So I'm expecting less people to be so quick on the draw with this. But I got it in the chat. Which one of you guys got it? Eric. Uh, signs. That is correct. John calls them signs. Uh, the seven signs. <laughs> All right. Question five. You only have 20 questions, so we'll get through these kind of quick. In what year did Martin Luther start the Protestant Reformation? Oh, come on. Man, you guys are so he, fast. He didn't, even get, he didn't even get through the question. Because <laughs> I know I slipped in her before the question was over. There's two people before me. I saw Darren's got the quick trigger, man. I got to beat him. Yeah, Eric got a little man on the keyboard. Like, Actually, I just like got me. like the shakes, so sometimes it just hits on accident. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to hope like I'm me. right. Eric is a, Eric is a good be former Protestant, here. so he better not screw this one up. That's right. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I should accept this as a correct answer. All right, Ariana, you get the point. That's it. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'll give her a point. <laughs> All right, yeah, she gets a point in the chat. All right, which one of you guys got it? Eric. 1517. That is correct. Uh, wait, 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 wait. He wasn't excommunicated until 1522. That doesn't matter. He started the Reformation. <laughs> and, and I would have also accepted. He was sitting on the crap or thinking about the, you know that story, right? How he actually followed the Protestant Reformation while he was like having diarrhea on the crapper. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. <laughs> no, it's, I didn't know it, that it's the best story. Yeah. Um, no, Marla, she's not actually related to Father Ripperger. It's her, just a screen name because she's uh -huh. a, a Ripperger fangirl. Uh, I also would have accepted 1960 at the start of the Second Vatican huh. Council as the Reformation began. <laughs> 62. <laughs> 62, <laughs> right? yeah. You got to you got to go back and watch Mass Ages episode two. Get your dates right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly, I I just keep rewinding over the Novus Ordo songs in the beginning and going back to My Little Pony. I don't get past that part. <laughs> so. yeah. uh, All right. So, question six: When the children of the vision of the vision of Fatima were beatified by Pope John Paul II. They became the youngest to receive that accolade prior to them. Who was the youngest Catholic to be beatified before the, the children of Fatima? Who was the youngest before that? It's a little bit tricky. We have asked this question on episode one. Was it controversial then? Well, it wasn't controversial. It was just Stephen couldn't spit the answer out so i mean every answer steven gave is pretty controversial it it might have been the way that he asked the question on episode one too. yeah well maybe. he might have, he might have just frank he might have just said the youngest did you say youngest um, beatified or canonized the well it's the the trivia game says the youngest catholic should be beatified what so trivia I got game in the chat we have Several sources we pick questions from. Uh, Catholic trivia. Ooh, just lost my headphones. That's one. We also have 
the Great Catholic Trivia Challenge. So Darren just sits there all day and goes through and memorizes these, and then yeah. I don't have I don't have any of those. <laughs> and then we use the board for catechism. So those are the sources I use for my trivia questions. This one came directly from the traditional Catholic trivia game. So I have correct answers in the chat. Which one of you guys got it? I got it, Aaron. I'm, I'm going to go with St. Maria Goretti. That is correct. See, uh, I, made a point. I, I, I thought of her, but I thought it would be somebody else. Like somebody from like the early church or something. Blessed Imelda was, was 11. <clears throat> like, yeah, who was the guy who was like yeah, the but altar? St. Maria was 10. Tarsisius was 13. Tarsisius. What about How the Holy we... Innocents? Ooh. No, but you got <laughs> When were they beatified? It's not when process. were they not when were they martyred? That's when were they fine. beatified? That's not how the church used to do it though, right? There's a canonization I process know. that has yeah. been put in place and updated. So like Moses was never canonized and the holy right. innocents were never canonized, right? They're recognized by the church as even, but they didn't go through the process of canonization. You can't uh you can't uh verify five miracles for the holy innocents, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jake, you are a font of information, just not the information you need to get the answer in the chat in the trivia game. Well, it's, it's not I can't verify my satellite internet haunting me. Either, but... I, I have to tell you, every time Jake has come on, like he he uh always gives like these detailed things that I'm like, wow, I learned something amazing from him. So, well, I'm trying to maybe, prove to you that it's me that should be running a trivia show and not you. <laughs> I, listen, I, my co-host over there barely opens. There you go, Jake. It's all yours. Buddy. <laughs> all right. There we go. There we now go. I'm <laughs> that I, might be the funniest. <laughs> the show got so much better, like yeah. so quickly. <laughs> ratings, ratings, ratings are up to six thousand viewers. It was like, oh. and all oh, of them were man. his family. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, they are old. Uh, all right, did I ask? Uh, okay, what what question are we on? Wait, about? Who actually? Six, who, I think. who got that one? Darren. Okay. Oh, Saint Maria. Maria. Okay, Maria. Okay, I know where we are. All right, question seven. Who was the high priest at the time of Jesus' crucifixion? Oh, man. Margo, do not ever have sympathy for me. I open <laughs> myself up. I, If anybody deserves the abuse, it's me. Rob, I do want to hear you say that word that we discussed earlier today. Uh, hold on. I got to look the at pastry. The, how, how the pastry. The pastry. Oh, then. Uh, <laughs> it's for you. It's for Oh God, you're terrible. That's that's yeah. cultured. It's for you know. <laughs> that's not what the YouTube video says. I don't care what the YouTube video says. Come to New York and listen to a Sicilian say it. You have Sfugliadelli. to say it with an Italian gesticulation too. <laughs> yeah, it's not the real thing. You gotta go like this as you say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got plenty of correct answers in the chat. Which one of you guys got it? Robbie. Robbie. So me. Go with uh, Caiaphas. That is correct. Robbie's on the board. I'm on the board. All right. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Robbie will come through on the like, uh, like he'll just slip yeah, in towards yeah. the end of the game. Yeah, and I get that good six man, you know, <laughs> strong six man game. He's quiet the first ten questions, and then he just starts killing it. All right. Question eight. Caiaphas's father-in-law was also interrogated Jesus. What was Caiaphas's father-in-law's name? You have to know your Bible to know the answer to this one. The passion narrative. I, I know the answer. I just wasn't confident that it actually said. <laughs> <laughs> I know people are going to say the wrong name. They're going to say something similar. Yeah, it's right. Be the wrong one. It'll be similar, but it. They're going to say the name of the guy who baptized Paul. That's my guess. You got Flanders nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Which one he's got? It? Uh, I have it. Who is Ananias? That's correct. So I thought nice. somebody was going to say Ananias. Ananias, Ananias baptized Ananias. Paul. That's what I was going to say. Ananias. What about Ananias? We huh? forgot about Ananias, though. An Ananias. Ananias, Ananias was. Uh, Right, and a nice baptized Paul. I, I might have that wrong. No, no, don't be I, a, I, 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 I don't, don't be a secular for pronunciation. And Ananias is it, 
it is, but I think it's Ananias. I think I think Ananias baptized Paul in the shingles. The scales full. Yeah, yeah. Like I that. think it's Ananias. I'm pretty that's sure that. it's Ananias. And then there's a bad Ananias too. Ananias is a fire. Right. So they die from Ananias, lying about. Ananias, they lie Ananias. about how much money they they gave to uh, the church. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. In the in the Book of Acts. Censored from the Nova Sordo, by the way, as you'll yeah, see. In yeah, yeah. Don't mention that. <laughs> okay. All right, this one's a little more uh, church trivia. So, what is the upper limit on age for a cardinal to be eligible to vote in a conclave? Oh man, I almost got in there. Mm. You guys are <laughs> fast. Uh, <laughs> upper limit on age for a cardinal to be eligible to vote Gosh. in a conclave. I'm like you can't and practice typing in my initial, just like. <laughs> Like you can't oh, yeah. second guess your answer on, or you're out. Like if you give yeah. a hesitance, uh, uh, you hesitate. Yeah, the last two okay. I thought for a second. I was like, I love. Yeah, no that's happen that happens all the time. Tim, you know White Wolf. He comes uh, in your chat I, a lot. Not my name, but I know an anon, an anon mean. Is his name actually White? Your first name's White, and your last name's Wolf. Is that correct? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. I am sorry. I I called I called you anon because. I thought White Wolf was anonymous. <laughs> White I, Wolf is our resident corrected. Benny Plenist. <clears throat> okay. Um, you always in a Catholic show. You always have to have at least one of those in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, which one of you guys have it? Eric. Like Eric. Eighty. It is correct. Eighty years old is the answer. Oh, I thought it was seventy. Wow. All right. Okay. Here's another. Here's another they got to get... submit their resignation, I think, right? No, it's 75. 75. Oh, okay. okay. 80, they could I'm keeping, a, I'm well, keeping is... a private tally of what I get right so I can go back to the people on the crew and be like, I swear I knew the answer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about knowing. These old guys are fast, man. You got to get that thing to them, man. I'm telling you. I'm going to get, I'm gonna get fired as the social media guy. They're like, you can't even type your letter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This should be an easy one. How old was Jesus when he got lost in the temple? Oh, God. <sighs> How old was Jesus? These are questions like simple that it's just a matter of getting your finger in quick. It's like everybody knows this one. But they're going to get – all right, the he's next one's hard. 33, right? He's rolling you in. So the <laughs> next one has got to be like super hard. The next hard. one is hard. The next one is hard. <laughs> so don't be so quick to punch that button. And we're uh, – this was that was question 10, by the way, so – uh, I have the correct answers. Which one of you guys got it? Jason. I think I got it. 12. He was 12. All right. Now, Speaking this one's Speaking of uh, punching buttons, Say what should 12. everyone do, Eric? <laughs> Say that again, Rob. I said, speaking of punching buttons, what should everyone do, Eric? Oh, yeah. Smash that button. Smash the like button. That's how the young people say it, like me. Wait a minute. My, my, my kids earlier, they were picking on my wife, and I was like, stop, you know, stop picking on mommy. Mommy's very upset. And my son goes, stop simping for your for mommy. And I'm like, I go, she's my wife. She's not some ethot. And they were like blown away that I knew what simping and an ethot was. They thought it was the funniest. What, what, thing. what are those? What are simping? Yeah, what's is the, like, what's simping? Yeah, what's that? E sim what's simping that? is when e a guy on the internet. So simping is when a guy on the internet will just like overly indulge a girl that he has no shot with on the internet where it's like cringy. So there, there's like there's an account called like Catholic Simps where it'll just be like you're gonna have guys, to explain cringy any, to him too. Yeah, like anytime a girl posts something, some guy will be like, "Oh my god, you're so beautiful and amazing," and it's like you know it's just cringy, and the girl wants nothing to do with them. So that's simping. I'm like she's my and an e thought is a, I'm not even gonna say what the actual letters stand for. This is a girl, who's <laughs> a tramp on the internet, you know, basically. So um, okay, so this question is a little that's tricky. Weird. Which pope ordered Jerome to translate the Bible into Latin? Oh, you broke Which, up. Yeah, I knew Flanders. Time. I knew Flanders would be in on that one. <laughs> Which that Pope seems Pope right sure. up his alley. <laughs> you better know that he wrote like a book on this. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> I may have taken it from his book. That's a good. <laughs> you better take it from my book. Right. That, that's a great advantage. Thank you. I didn't I actually, that. but I could have. Uh, Anthony, what was Eric, the question? Anthony. Eric, I don't what know was if you the want question? to take a step from your book because then if you don't get it, it's like double embarrassing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's gonna like mm, I hope I remember this right. The, 
the question was which pope ordered Jerome to translate the Bible into Latin? So which pope ordered Jerome to give us the Vulgate? I should have asked what is something about the Vulgate. That would have been a good question. All right. Uh, who's got it? I got plenty of correct answers. Tim? Okay. Uh, Damasus the first. Who is Damasus? It is Pope Damasus. I was going to say right. Damascus. Damascus. <laughs> Actually, Damascus too, Darren. <laughs> I don't know if there was a Damasus number two. It's, that may have been a dud name. I don't All know. right. Now, this next Damascus. question, if you don't know the Gospel of John well, you are not going to get the answer to this. But if you know the Gospel of John well, you will get it. Which apostle asks Jesus, where did you see me? And Jesus replies, I saw you under the what? fig tree. He hadn't, even, he hadn't even started asking the question. You were reusing <laughs> a lot of old ones. I'm going to I'm I'm gonna gonna you it. under the I'm fig gonna, tree. I'm going to steal this from Robbie. I thought this was going to be a hard question. I was waiting for him. Like, oh, it's going to be hard. I'm gonna steal this. From I just Robbie. said, I if it. you don't, if you haven't read the Gospel of John thoroughly, you won't know the answer to this. Come this on, is, it's the first was, chapter. This is very controversial. Last time. It's this is the controversial. Chapter, so, right, and, John, and today John's too. Gospel. You're first giving away asking it today. In the beginning, second is the wedding at Cana, and the third is this one. I believe it's the third chapter. No. All right, I think so. It's right, the first chapter, dude. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay. Robbie's yeah. got it. He's got it. Okay, which yeah. one of you guys got it? Robbie, got Robbie. I used to, I used to, I used to uh, buy some of their products. You know, so I'm going to go with. <laughs> it is not. No, I said I no. saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. That's what he says to oh, him. So, hey, which, so you lose the point. Right. Who wants to one. steal it? I'm out. Who wants I'm to out. steal it? So he is going to steal it. Who, who goes? Go it's it's, it's, it's I Nathaniel. Is now. <clears throat> yes, it is yes, Nathaniel. Yes. Who is it also is known as Bartholomew in the other? Yeah, there he goes. Gospel. There he goes. There oh, he comes. I was going to say Nathan. I, th I guess that's wrong. I think that's Nathaniel. wrong. Uh, Nathan not... is short for Nathaniel. And Anthony loses uh, a point because he doesn't know what chapter it's in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, chapter so. three is the the I God still loved the world that he gave no, his only son, bro. Yeah. Come on. Right. Yeah. Come chapter on, dude. Three John three sixteen. Watch the football game. Chapter three is Nicodemus. Chapter three is Nicodemus. Yeah, Nicodemus. Chapter three. Right. All right. In chapter five of Mark's gospel, Jesus resurrects a little girl who died. He takes her by the hand and says a very specific <laughs> phrase to her that we don't hear anywhere else. What well, is that Robbie. phrase, and what does it mean? Dude, he said he said in chapter five. <laughs> <and you can't. laughs> and Robbie was already in there. I just, Inter I know interesting said little girl. Fact, <laughs> got Robbie chapter has chapter memorized. five memorized. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might go negative on this. Spoil it down. All right, Robbie. Robbie, phrase. you better get this right because I am I'm waiting in the wings to take a point from you, dude. All right, Rob. Right, what's the phrase? You. Oh man, uh, like. To, to lay to cum or something like that? I, you do have it. I'll tell you what. If you tell me what it means. Little girl arise. That is correct. He's getting the point. It's Talitha oh, Cooney. All right, Jake. Talitha Cooney. Okay. Why do I, why do I come on this show? <laughs> Jake, you we ask that, that every trigger, week, brother. Jake. Because you, you haven't learned to say no to Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on the show. First really, off, I, I, say, I say no to I say no to Anthony. Ninety. I'm, I'm going to tell you all what I did here. I I went to Tim and I said I have Eric and Jake coming on. Will you come on? I went to Eric oh, and I said I have I, Jake I and Tim coming on. Going. Will you come on? And I went to Jake and I said I have Tim and Eric. None of you were confirmed, and I lied to all of you to tell you the other ones are coming. He, he came to me and said I hope these guys come on, but I don't. <laughs> I guess nine other people too. I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. Who was the first group of heretics that Paul preaches against in his letters? The first group oh. of heretics that Paul preaches against in his letters, specifically in oh, snap. Galatians, Eric. I believe. I actually don't know the answer to this. Man, yes, I do. better get in. I, I, I hit it, and I was like, wait, I'm, I don't know the I'm answer. You know the answer to this. You, you, the yeah. first group of heretics Paul does what? Yeah, they're – come on. So it's based on, like, what, what they think is the first letter? Like, uh, or like, you're talking like, right. like Paul, Paul, is, Paul is saying, is saying I don't know. he beguiled you. Do not like who's he talking about? The people he's like, I, oh, I man, whoever preaches hit. another gospel to you, <laughs> let them be anathema. What's ah. the, who's he talking about? What is it, Eric? That's in Galatians. No, it's not in Galatians. It's in Romans. 
where he talks about let them. I got uh, plenty of answers in the chat, no, so it can't be that bad of a question. Wrong, I couldn't ask. Well, no, that. Well, Anthony, 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 first letter is First Thessalonians, he, and he's talking about like the church, like you know, the, the possibility of the second coming and stuff like that. No, I think it's in Galatians, right? Ga- I'm, I'm that's what you were quoting was Galatians, where if an angel yeah. preaches any other gospel, right? But he also, but, all right. So when when he says. Who hey, can we get a question that makes right. sense, Anthony? I think I'm allowed to say any her- heretical no, group no. that's ever existed and it's going to count as right, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. All right, so look, maybe not... The modernist. Not... He was against the modernist. That's my answer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they, they were modern at the time, right? <laughs> All right, do you not know? Uh, okay, I have no idea what you want. He argued... I mean, the dose of this, of course, were something back then, and, like, I don't know, the, you looking for a name for him? Yeah, there was uh, there was a specific name for them. You're gonna be mad when you. Yeah, hear I'll, just it. I'll just say Gnostic then. I just say no, no. I maybe that maybe heretic is the wrong word then. Well, they, they, I was it was heresy. Well, was condemned well, by the council. There oh, was okay. That. So so there was two answers that I was. Oh oh, oh oh. Eric Eric had one. <laughs> Judy <laughs> That's it. That's it. Judy 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 I was like, oh, I know what it is. Judy Judy <laughs> and I got I plenty stuck, of correct answers in the chat. I was stuck so. between Gnostics and Judaizers. So yeah, no nah, Judaizers. As soon as he oh, wow. said the I was like, oh, that's right. Oh well, I got plenty of correct answers in the chat, so it couldn't have been that poorly asked. <laughs> All right. The good news is the good news is at the end I have a question that's worth one thousand points, so everybody. <laughs> has a chance that that is how the game thing. works. That is how the game works. So. <laughs> All right. Real. Let's see. Okay. We're on question fifteen. We're almost done, guys. We're going quick. All right. With Easter being a movable feast, what are the least and most amount of Sundays after Pentecost in the traditional calendar. Oh, Easter's man. a movable feast. The least and most, so there should be a minimum of a certain number and a max of a certain number of Sundays after Pentecost. It's in everybody's missile. I I mean, you got Wait, a little trad here. You got no excuse for not knowing this. You, Jake, should have Wait, this. Sundays, Sundays, but Sundays after saying- Pentecost. There's oh, a minimum a amount and a yeah. maximum amount. And then when yeah. you get to the maximum amount, they say, okay, if or if it exceeds this amount, go back to – Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. Well, I don't know the minimum, but yeah, Wait, the maximum. So, so do you want the actual Sundays after Pentecost I want or to know plus the, minimum. the ones that would be Sundays after Epiphany? I want to know the minimum <laughs> and the maximum amount of Sundays after Pentecost. It's not really – no, that makes sense. Like, is yeah. there like forty is the least, right. and forty five yeah. is the most? Right, exactly. Right. Like that. Uh, I got correct answers in the chat. Who's got it? I, I think I, I got the yeah, chance to guess at it. I'm gonna say twenty three is the least, twenty eight is the most. That is correct. Well done. Oh, well done. Benny Planiston Chief got it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of incorrect answers. Close, guys. Close, Wesley. I was wrong. I did. I thought it was twenty-four was the most. Yeah. So if you go in the missile, uh, it starts at week twenty-three. It, you know, it could be the oh, least it's because, it's because the the Sundays after F uh, Epiphany. after Epiphany get added in, even right. if so. If it goes beyond twenty-eight weeks, you go oh, back. So we to, were counting. We were counting Sundays after Epiphany. Resume. That's, that's what I was Into asking that. you, Anthony. Yeah, but ah. they're still called the whatever Sunday after Pentecost. I'm right. I'm back in Anthony on this one. Gotcha. Thank you, Eric. That's fine. That's his never disastrous that question life, before. So. <laughs> <laughs> be stricken right. from the record. We're going Saints now. This is a good one. Which levitating monk was known as the Flying Friar? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. This is a good one. There's a movie about him. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I oh, forgot. There's a movie. movie. That's come on, it? The Flying oh. Monk. Oh, there's a movie okay. about him. Um, yeah, I think I remember. That narrows it down. <laughs> movie about him. That, that Lee in that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, there's think, not think... that many movies that, you know, I mean, there's terrible Saint movies, but this one, it's a black and white one, and I think a lot of people actually like it. I've never seen it. Mm. <laughs> a lot of people it's say But you think it's pretty close. good, but you've never seen it. Yeah. I, I, I it's see it's people saying one. something very close to it. <laughs> that's hmm. right. That's close, but that's not it. All right. Anybody got it? Eric. Yeah. Is it St. Juan Capistrano? No, oh, you're close. You got it. You're close, too. It's close. That's not it, though. It's the reluctant saint, St. Joseph of Cupertino. That is correct. Or so a lot of people, uh, Eric, you're not crazy because a lot of people 
A lot of people guess that. Why do we think it's Capistrano then? Did he uh, fly you're, on the, you're on air with an Italian, and you think all Italian. Italians. <laughs> 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 you know, in this day and age, prejudice here, against Italians. <laughs> so does Eric raise the point? Des, Des, Desiree's my uh, Italian, my paisan. She says her phone made it say Capistrano. She must all type right. Capistrano all the time. Is Capistrano <laughs> also some kind of like pastry that you get all the time? <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> ever ever since I met Anthony, this is my favorite emoji. I Dude, all, I, the time <laughs> all, the time all right, we only got four questions left. Listen, I want. I think Eric should get this one. I'll be mad if he doesn't. In oh, three fourteen, the Bishop of Caesarea in Palestine is known to us as the father of church history. Who is? Oh, that? yes. Wait, what's the question? Yeah. <laughs> In 314, the Bishop of Caesarea in Palestine is known to us as the father of church history. It's not Who just 314, he? though, Anthony. I mean, he lived longer than that. He wasn't a baby when he was writing his. Is that even a question? Oh, no, he was the bishop in three. I don't know. Look, that's what the trivia game gave me. What do you okay. think? Isn't that a statement? I want you to research. <laughs> You guys are hard on me. And, and so, <laughs> Tim, Anthony, listen, listen, like, listen, how about Anthony this? Gets, Who is the Anthony father of church history? <laughs> Anthony gets up at 4 a.m. Yeah, that one's some slack. All right, I'm in the hot basement. I got a lot of correct answers okay. in the chat. Um, you know who is Eusebius? That is correct. Who is Eusebius? Mm -hmm. A great audiobook. Uh, you could go on, uh, what is that? Uh, LibriVox. They have the audiobook of Eusebius' Church oh, History. That's, that's awesome. And if, and if you listen to, especially when he goes through um, the, uh, the temple, um, <laughs> Charles, the temple being on <laughs> by Rome. I got him on my cool. podcast this week, so I'll ask him. If he's <laughs> uh, yeah, when he goes through uh, uh, Josephus' uh, account of the temple being overthrown by Rome, it is amazing. Oh, Eric, dude. we keep having the same guests after each other. What's Yeah. Do you have Charles Colomb? Last, I had him week. on last week. Dude, I'm like totally copying you. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. What, what did you talk to him about? Just himself, so you're probably good. <laughs> okay, well, good. I'm talking about monarchy, so thank goodness. I was going to say, man, if I do the exact I've same topic, I've done that too, before. Don't worry. I know. About it. Well, I listen to Eric. I listen to your podcast with um, the English Gavin, uh, Bishop Gavin. Yeah, yeah, Gavin, and I didn't listen to uh, Connor. So when I when I was like, oh, this is an amazing podcast by Eric Connor, I was like, really? No, that was like, just really? Rob. Just Rob did that. I didn't. Res I didn't respond to it. I listened to uh, Connor's first, and then Eric's. Who's was better? Tell off, off air, whose was better? <laughs> no, nah, I want to know on air, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> whose is better? <laughs> All right. They both had pros and cons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, question 18. When a priest performs extreme unction, this is going to be a controversial question. When a priest extreme, uh, performs extreme unction, what parts of the body does he anoint with oil? In the old right or the in new? the old right? <laughs> right. In the oh. new right, it's none. <laughs> this was okay. So we had I a may not. I asked <laughs> you this. Might get it. <laughs> well, I asked this I question. Think I know. The first episode, I asked this question. We had a priest in the chat who actually corrected me because um, the old right and the new right are different, and I didn't know that. Well, of course they're different. Just ask Jake. Watch episode two, man. It's no, probably in there too. Yeah, you know, Anthony make... Anthony was real desperate to have me on here. It seems like he doesn't know anything about math the ages. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've been trying to get him to watch it. We had we had you on for the we had you on for the review show. Stop it. <laughs> All, All right, you did was so, play the the My Little Pony. You're right. I just kept rewinding that play. <laughs> All right, who's got it? I, I do. Yeah. I don't know why I pressed in so fast. I'm gonna say <laughs> I'm going to say the forehead, and I'm wrong. I can <laughs> Anything see, see Rob. <laughs> Does he lose one point for every part of the body? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, oh, I, think I, I, got, I got one part, huh? You got one, so everyone you missed, you lose a point. So who's I, his next? What? Okay, so forehead, lips, and palm of the hand. Am I missing one? Or no, am I wrong? I have... I just have forehead and hands, so this is a this is gonna be a, oh. this is a battle. So oh. Jake, you know, I was gonna say forehead, chest, and hands. Man, I wish that priest was in here. Oh, <laughs> <hands>. <laughs> so 
knees and toes. What do you got, Tim? I was going to say forehead and hands. I thought I, I wasn't decided yet, but. Well, none Some of us are, have died. It sounds like everybody's died, adding so one. Have... Let's just say head, <laughs> shoulders, <laughs> and toes. Rob, take a point away from Darren. You're going to give a point to Jason, and you're going to give a point to Jake. I did add lip, so in all fairness. I mean, they could be right, and Darren could be right. I don't know, but Wait, I no, think no, Darren... I, I don't know. Wait, I, was, I, I was thinking there was three, and I knew it was forehead and hands, and I was trying to guess on the second one. Well, see, right, yeah, so I, I was totally know. guessing. What's I'll never know, because in my diocese, uh, the old right of uh, extreme unction just got taken away. So if I, if I mm. die tomorrow, I'll get the new right. So I'm pretty sure. So then I can't confirm even from the, the other side. <laughs> what is the answer? <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. That's the answer. And toes. What are we even going to do for the chat? Who's going to get those points? What's the actual answer, Anthony? We don't. I, I'm telling you what the trivia game said. The yeah, I know. What did it say? But we know the trivia hands. game's wrong. I know, but I want to. Wait, say it again. Forehead and hands is all the trivia game says. Oh, okay. I thought it was tongue. And that's coming from a, a uh -oh. traditional uh -oh. Catholic trivia game. So I got to think. The real question is, what will they do for me? Oh, my gosh. I don't oh, so know. You guys don't know. Connor, trip, has no <laughs> Connor has no hands. So um, he never has to worry about receiving communion on the hand, which it's... is a plus. So <laughs> Yeah, there we go. It's I wish I thought moment. of that joke, but Connor actually brought that joke to my attention. I thought it was he was a great sport about it. So um, It's the only bonus. <laughs> okay, I just gotta ask Connor. Oh, so has anybody tried to give you communion in the hand, like a Eucharistic minister or something? <laughs> okay, the it was burning. Thing I ever <laughs> came to that was Christmas, uh, back, um, the first Christmas back. I wanted to go. I went to a Latin mass the next day, but I went to, um, what my friends call the Jewish mass. Uh, you know the, uh, the um seder meal, you know, the yeah. vigil. Um, no. um, basically because my family wanted to go at that point, uh, and we were going to my local parish and I was really kind of concerned. I was expecting just not to receive because I knew they didn't, they weren't allowing anybody to receive on the tongue at it. And I hadn't been there in forever, basically, because I'd, uh, been, uh, been somewhere else. Uh, so, and there was this, it was funny. There was this, uh, assistant, you know, who's ready to like uh, clean whatever for the priest or whatever, walking around with the priest and the priest comes over and I'm just like, I am, I am like hiding my feet as much as possible, just in case, uh, even though I've never heard of anyone distributing on the, on the feet and that wouldn't make any sense. But uh, luckily the priest did, you know, distribute on the tongue and I was like, ha, <laughs> there you go. Very good. That was the closest time, but yeah. no, no other time. I received, wow, I've received what? communion on the hand once in my life. It was right after I became Catholic, like a year, two years after that. And it was a blind priest. It, I was on vacation. Actually, it was on my honeymoon. And we're going up. And the, and the priest, we just went to this local parish. The priest is blind. So I go up there. And I'm like, I look over. I think it was like a deacon or somebody standing next to the priest. Helping out. He's the blind priest distributing communion. And I kind of look over and I kind of point to my mouth and he's just like, no. And I was like, I didn't know what to do. And I was so I just yeah, put my hand up. Yeah, and I, don't my hand and I was just like, what just happened here? I mean, why was a blind priest distributing communion in the first place? It was, that, just, it was wow. bizarre. Might be an actual good case for an EMHC. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think even the guy, I think the deacon was, it was a deacon with them. So it's like, why couldn't a deacon just, anyway, it was weird. Yeah, that's odd. Yeah. That is, that is, I've never heard anything like that. Wow. Um, okay. We have two questions left, guys. So, <laughs> um, the last two. These should be uncontested. I believe these are pretty obvious. Okay. Holy Saturday, or the Easter Vigil, is also known by what name? It's not a very easy answer. Holy Saturday. What is the other name? So, Holy Thursday is called Maundy Thursday. Spy Holy Wednesday. Wednesday. Spy Wednesday. Man, so what I is... This. I'm drawing a blank. What is Holy Saturday? I think I know, but I've gotten so many wrong that I'm afraid I'm in negative numbers at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like negative have three. Point. And I just learned it this past this past year, actually. Uh, let's see. I don't see anybody in the chat. Oh, I got it. Okay, which one of you guys got it? Tim thinks he has it. Uh, is it Holy Sabbath? No. 
Ah. Take a point away from Tim Flanders. <laughs> well, Can I guess it doesn't count against me? If you Somebody, guess, you lose well, a I point. Have a, if, okay. Oh, Jake no got it. Wait, Jake wait, Jake I said it. I there a is guess. a technicality oh, Jake, on this. No, go Jake. Let Jake answer. But there, Let Jake I answer. There was, technicality. The technicality is, is if nobody else can get it, you don't lose a point. That's true. Jake, let's go, Jake. <laughs> Should I be the gentleman and just save Flanders? No. No. No, no. Do it, man. <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> Is it is it Black Saturday? It is Black Saturday. Jake coming through. Uh, never you guys heard want a like. score update before the last question? Yeah, let's hear it. I, I just want to prove to everyone that I was right. Ah. <laughs> As you can see, I got it right. The but... Holy Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, man. There's proof right there. <laughs> All right, don't take a point away from Tim. Tim and oh, Jake. I'm, get just, it. I'm just messing no, around. No, Tim and Jake. Yeah. Get it. Listen, <laughs> no, this, this is this is actually an Anglo-Catholic. Oh, right never mind. Also, Tim is oh, never mind. <laughs> Tell this guy Jake with his Novus Ordo board. books to get out of this game with his, <laughs> his ordinary. I never heard of Black Saturday. That's Black Saturday. Have you ever heard That's... of Black Saturday? I learned that. Have you heard of Black Sabbath? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, I heard of, I heard of that black thing. Uh, but I have what, what is Black Saturday? Come, is there like a black? Uh... Just I guess well, there was this guy named Ozzy Osbourne. No, well, I, he, I, would, I would assume Black Saturday is because this, he's in the grave. He's in the grave, and we're awaiting the, right yeah, like, awaiting uh, the resurrection. Right. Okay, so Wait. point update for the contestants on the show: Jason is in the lead with four. Nice. Who's second? Uh, we have uh-huh. Darren, Tim, and Eric tied with three, and then Jake with two, and Robbie with one. Oh, Jake. What can you do, man? You're the man. I'm pretty sure I'll get the. I'm pretty sure that I'll get the answer to my bonus question, and then I'll have to. All right. Here's. Oh, who's in the chat, Rob? Who do we got in the Uh, chat? In the chat, we have Don with 10. Always. Tobias with 10. Holy smokes. And Margo with 8. Yeah, but they don't have to buzz in. Well, they don't have to buzz. Correct. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. The the first three get counted. First three they're, they're not yeah. up against the buzzer, so it's a totally different game. And usually in the chat, no matter who wins in the chat, I'll just be like a jerk and pick whoever I want to win. So don't worry. Uh, all right. Shocking. All right. Shocking. <laughs> Anthony, a jerk? Who would have thought? Well, you already know. promised that luminous mother that she was going to win this the next trivia. Yeah, she, I, don't, I haven't seen her yet. Well, she could still win. He promised her. No, nah, she has to be here. <laughs> you have to show up to win. Uh, the only person who's not eligible to win in the chat this week is this guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The, what does the word teltelestai mean and what language is it? Teltelestai. You spell what it? language is it? T-E-L-T-E-L-E-S-T-A-I. No, in the Tell-tell-stai. original language. Oh, I see. Yeah, the original language. <laughs> Can you give a context for the word? It is said from the cross. It is one of the seven last words. Oh, wow. Oh, well, I might know. Tell Telestai. I can't believe you guys don't know this one. (laughs) Would you have known it without the trivia answer? Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) This is one that I would have known, yeah. (laughs) Listen, I'm not great. I'm not great with, like, saints and pope history but like biblical stuff i'm pretty good at but are you Fair good enough. on your feet oh. though that's uh, totally well, different than maybe you. not like with the trigger thing but i've i was obsessed with scott Hahn for about 10 years and i've listened to every single one of his talks and i mean i i i would i draw drive three hours a day in traffic and i would just listen to everything on the saint paul center and his whole saint john series and i mean and then know. he found meaning of catholic and then i found tim flanders <laughs> changed his life and change everything. Ah, <laughs> uh, close. A lot of people. A lot of people. Are close. Oh, I got it. All right. I got a couple answers. All right. Anybody want to guess? <laughs> okay. uh, it, <clears throat> is it? It is finished. It is. It is finished. All right. <laughs> Do you know the language? You get an extra point if you know and the it's language. Greek. Yeah. It is Greek. He gets two points. Tim Flanders comes through for the win at the end. Oh, we called oh, it. We man. called Tim it. Tim Flanders goes wow. through for the win at the end. <laughs> is this so you can ask him to have it on Meaning of Catholic? Now, Tim, since you won, <laughs> additional prize, you get Tim. 
it would be amazing for Rob and I if you would actually take this episode and air it on your channel. Yeah, sure, we'll talk off air. It, we'll see if you don't feel comfortable with that. That's fine, guys. If you don't see it on Meaning of Catholic, you know Tim turned me down. If you... Oh shoot! <laughs> hey, there aren't a lot of people watching. That's all right. Never are. Like, oh man! Never really Shots. All right. Fine, um, man. let's go through. Look, we kept that at fifty-one minutes. I am amazed at this. We never do that. We usually go two hours because of our banter. So we're just gonna run through everybody who has stuff to promote. Jason, you have anything coming up on the podcast or no? Uh, not the immediate future. We're working on a few things with Sophia Press uh, about getting a, a guest on and everything. But, uh, yeah, so that should be in the next week or two. Okay. When you got something ready, you let me know. Uh, Darren, you usually don't have anything, right? Uh, yep. Robbie, you're with us. So you have anything other than us? No? Nope. Okay. All right. So, uh, Connor, what do you have booked this week? Uh, tomorrow I'm interviewing Apostolic Majesty, and we're discussing – Char uh, Emperor Charles V of the Holy Roman Empire and King of Spain. Okay, excellent. Um, so that's who I'm going to be interviewing it. next week. Okay. <laughs> 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 hey, Connor, can you send me his contact info? Whoever, like, just send it to me after you finish with it. Just send whoever you interview. It makes it a little easier for oh, everyone. No, you then you first have to follow me so I can actually DM you. Oh, Do I not follow? follow you I don't. I yeah. I sorry. Eric's guys. terrible about following. You know, you have to guilt them. Into Eric it. doesn't. Eric yeah. doesn't know how to use Twitter, and I can say that because I also don't know how to use Twitter. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't <laughs> like. Yeah, I don't know. I use it like Connor, what, now that now that he's okay, met everybody you, who like is on this show, I can get like a screen capture to show. I'll follow everybody if I don't I'll, already. I'll hook you up, Eric. I'll there we go. Uh, send you everybody's Twitter handles. Just make sure it's easy for you. And then I can uh, Eric, you, 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 you got to try for that. You know. What do you got this week? Uh, I got Charles Colomb, and then uh, I'm going to talk to him about monarchy. I'm going to have him defend monarchy. And then actually next week I got Joseph Pierce. I'm going to talk about uh, Shakespeare being Catholic. Ooh, that's exciting. We, we just I love Joseph Pierce. Guess. <laughs> um okay tim what do we got this lined up for a meaning of catholic um well we're, we'll, we'll do the music episode soon that'll be fun and be, every yeah. monday morning the terror of demon oh no yeah. the, the terror of demons morning well, show yeah, terror of demon will be uh the first wednesday which will be september 7 uh yeah now, so that'll be yeah. the next you, terror of demons we're doing what it do you monthly. guys call the new monday morning show oh our lady of victory Okay, so yeah. every mo every Monday morning at uh, five a.m. or 6 super early, six a.m. Six a.m. Yeah, I used to be able to catch it when it was at five a.m. It's a little trickier at six a.m. So. Oh yeah, we we slowly <laughs> become more and more lax. Uh, I, I'm amazed. It used to be four thirty, now it's six. I'm amazed that Jeremiah shows up. That man is notoriously late for everything, including his own show. Well, you've seen the Monday morning show. He's usually late for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh jake what do you have brother yeah there's a lot that i can't say so i'm trying to figure out uh what i can say uh we got a short video coming out soon on uh communion in the hand done in the mass age of style that's really exciting and then uh, for episode three we are deep in the weeds of filming so the film crew just got back from africa uh, filming some great stuff out in east africa and then we did a production in texas uh, yesterday actually with trent horn um, so we've oh, got a lot of a lot of exciting stuff coming up for episode three. Um, there's a whole lot more that I can't say, but go to latinmass.com and click get notified and we'll we'll update you guys. Um, can I put in a uh, not that you'll actually listen to it, but after the whole trilogy is finished, what I would love to see is a really well done documentary on Marian apparitions. Like I, I I've been falling asleep to some terribly done ones. And because I go to bed at night and I just like to have something in the background as I go to sleep. And I cannot find a good documentary on Marian appar uh, apparitions. So, yeah. Just... So we have I mean, we have plans for like two dozen different films. So there's there's a lot of stuff in the works. We just got to uh, take the time to make them the right way. And um, hopefully people keep supporting us. Awesome. Guys, I can't thank you enough, man. I had a great time. We kept this one short for you guys. So. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. Uh, everybody, we'll see you here next Wednesday. And if anything else is coming up, I'll let you guys know on Twitter. Uh, Rob, you want to take us out? Sure thing. Thank you, guys. Yeah.